What is going on guys, it's actually here, welcome back to another Wolves video. Today I'm going to be previewing uh, the technically belated um, New Year's game uh, between Wolves and Crystal Palace at Mornu. <sighs> the reason I say belated, um, if you don't know already, it is a Wednesday, uh, 2nd of January. Uh, we're we're going to be playing it instead of tomorrow, which is when... Pretty much everyone else uh, in the Premier League and everyone, everyone else in the Football League as well are playing their games. But I'm, I'm not sure why we've moved it to a Wednesday. Um, it's not televised or anything. Um, as as of, uh, as of no, I don't think there is any other. Uh, there is any other um, Premier League games uh, as well. I'm not sure why why it's been moved to the Wednesday. Um, not not sure. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, uh, obviously it was the last win we got before uh before we started winning again and we started picking up more points. Um, we started th that w uh winning run again. Uh, uh, against Chelsea. Um, and that that was back in Oct October. Um. Because we were starting to find our feet then. Uh, when we last pl when we last played Crystal Palace, we were starting to find our feet in the Premier League. Uh, we were picking up a few wins here and there. Uh, and then uh, after the international break, I, th I think that was the last, last game before an international break. And then after that, um, a couple of weeks later against Watford, uh, it all fell apart. And we started losing games, um, dropping points. Uh, we lost back-to-back uh, -back games. Uh, we lost get uh games against Watford and Brighton, which we should have been winning. Uh, we lost two 0 to Watford, uh, and then we lost one 0 to Brighton. We we started dropping points, uh, and that was a, a bad period really. Uh, uh, after that, uh, after that Palace win. Uh, but we come into this game in a good run of form. Uh, the la the last win, um, uh, on Saturday, which. Uh, it was completely unexpected, really. It was completely unexpected, uh, and, and uh, the the major thing uh, that helped that was what uh, was that brilliant second half performance. Um, I think a key an, a key aspect of the game uh, was staying in the game at half time. Uh, we were one nil down at half time, which was absolutely vital. Uh, if we were two or three nil down. Then it would have been a different situation, and we probably wouldn't have got back into the game. But the fact that we were only one nil down at half time, I think, was uh, a key aspect in us getting uh, back into the game. And we managed to come back from it in style. Uh, you know, a brilliant goal by Harry Kane, uh, but that was outshone really by a uh, brilliant second half performance. When you talk about the Spurs game on Saturday, not many people. Uh, unless the Spurs fans, I guess, would talk about the Harry Kane goal, they would they would they would more talk about really, I guess, the second half performance of Wolves. Um, and yeah, what why shouldn't they really? Because it was a it was a brilliant second half performance, uh, and we completely turned the game on its head. After. <laughs> It seemed like Spurs were hanging on to something. It really did. It seemed it seemed like Spurs were hanging on to something. Um, they were hanging on and hanging on, and once we got that goal through Willy Bolly, the wheels just fell off for them, and they they were just relying, relying on us not being potent in front of goal as we have been, uh, probably in the last couple of weeks, um, a couple of times in the last couple of weeks, um. But yeah, they were probably uh, relying on that, relying on us just not taking our chances uh, to try and see out the game. And once we got that, once we got that equalising goal, I think that was lights out really for Spurs because they were defending, and defending, just hold, holding everything back. And then once we got that equalising goal, we just went from there. And Spurs didn't really look hungry enough. They didn't really look hungry enough to try and. Uh, get back that that lead they once had. They just tried to settle for it, and uh, they they tried to settle for the win. And then once 
the wind went. They just tried to uh, take whatever was there from there. That's what it seemed anyway, because they didn't really make any effort to try and get back into the game, try and take uh, take control of the game once again, because we were controlling the game in the second half, uh, and they didn't really have a sniff. And it was the other way around in the first half. I suppose we're brilliant. And we didn't really have a if we we didn't really have any a, a, a foothold on the game. But that completely changed in the second half. Spurs did st- Spurs didn't even have a shot in this in the second half. I don't think. So that just shows uh, their intent in front of goal in the second half. They weren't really looking for that second goal. They were just trying to hold on. Uh, and then. We just punished them, and we won 3-1 in the end, and I think that second half performance uh, was deserved of a victory in the end. Moving on to the Crystal Palace game now, and I think it's important we pick up three points to start off the new year, brilliant. Uh, To start off the new year with three points would be absolutely brilliant. Um, That will move us on to 32 points from 21 games, which is absolutely magnificent. Obviously, um, earlier in the season, uh, that kind of October, November, we had a, a little bit of a fumble, um, and uh, we could be on, we could be safe right now. We could be on forty plus points if we didn't have that fumble where we we dropped uh, a number of points in that period. But I think if we move get this win and we move on to thirty two points from twenty one games, we're almost there already. We, we we would actually be almost safe, and we could potentially, if we keep this up and we keep on going, uh, and, uh, and keep this up because we're on a, uh, after that Liverpool game, um, if against Fulham we looked a bit shaky, uh, in the first half, but then we improved a bit in the second half. But then definitely, I think we've got our mojo back. We we uh, got our mojo back against. Spurs, and hopefully we can go on a little bit of a run now. Now we've got this couple of games unbeaten run. Uh, we we a massive win against Spurs. You know, hopefully we can go on and do greater things now. Um, if we do carry on this run, we could potentially actually crazy saying this because um, obviously we've been in the Premier League before. We've only just survived on the final day or a couple of games to go into the season. But we could actually, for the first time really in the Premier League, we could be, um, we could secure our safety really, essentially, by the end of January, start of February. With a few, still plenty of games to, to play in the season. And we could just go on from there and get, try and get a good finish. And yeah, obviously Nuno takes it a game at a time, but looking ahead there, if we get a few wins, gets us on to 40 points, which is normally the safety mark. Once you get that, you're safe. You shouldn't really have to worry about relegation. And if we get that, we can just look forward to the rest of the season, see where the rest of the season takes us, and build on to the next couple of seasons, hopefully in the Premier League, if we don't get relegated next season. Which we shouldn't do, obviously. Um, We can build on next season and try and uh, eventually, what Foson wanted in the next decade is to go for glory, to go for the Premier League title in the next decade. So, obviously, we're going to build from that. And just go from here now. Just get a, a few results on the board. Even if we don't play the best, even if we manage to pick up a, a point in a game we're not particularly playing well in, that would be a, that would be absolutely fantastic. Um, that would be absolutely fantastic. And we could... Um, we could build on from there and just make sure uh, we're in the Premier League for next season. And then once we've got that secure, build on from there, get get some signings in. Um, and then get get some signings in, to, in the January transfer window. Definitely we need a striker. Obviously it's a January transfer window. It opens tomorrow, doesn't it? Because it's January the 1st tomorrow. Hopefully we'll be seeing transfer news uh, of, of strikers we're looking at um, by tomorrow onwards. And, uh, yeah, I'll be reporting that for you on the channel. So, yeah, if you did enjoy this preview video, make sure to smash that like button. And I shall see you on Thursday with a review of the Crystal Palace game. Until then, goodbye, guys! Go.